Hello, welcome back. Uh, I know I'm a, a little bit sooner than uh, where I said I was going to be. I just I was just fighting this guy, and I noticed that uh, his big giant uh, horn is not actually in the middle of his nose. You can see where his two nostrils are. It's actually like off to like the left side. It's like off. The, it looks like they just stuck the horn on like after the fact. Like uh, like they were just gonna not give him a horn, and then they're just like, oh fuck it, just put it on the edge of his face. No one will notice, right? Okay, so anyway, I got to um, level 16 with uh, Sundown and uh, Masaru. Actually, I thought about using Masaru for the last fight because his HP just shot up through the fucking roof. And, um, but then I was like, nah, I'll just do Pogo again, fine, whatever. And uh, the same exact thing happened when I, um, oh, we also learned this move. Um, it, it takes forever to fucking use, so it's not really that good. It's kind of like Mazer Cannon. I'm pretty sure, like, that's, like, the maximum amount of weight that the game has, like, programmed in. Like, you'll use it, and then, like, everybody else will get, like, six turns, and then you'll totally forget he's even there. Then, finally, it'll activate for some reason. I did also learn Frankensteiner, which is nice to know that um, any moves that you didn't get from the guys, you actually can get from just leveling up normally. Okay, so hopefully we can have our way with this guy, Cheapers. And uh, yeah, the exact same thing happened uh, in the fight. Actually, I did the fight uh, sped up and also sped up the grinding. Uh, the increase the speed or whatever. And uh, yeah, the same thing happened where uh, Pogo died right away with no defense. I couldn't. He's taken like two, three hundred damage per turn. I couldn't. Um, okay, here's the real test, by the way. I also learned. Uh, I started. I got triple shot. And then quad shot, and then these ones too. Um, this one does a fuckload of damage. Just, let's just use this one. I guess the. Oh man. Okay, and we did it. Yay! There wasn't even delay on it. I thought there was supposed to be a delay on it, and then like, did I did I attack him first for like zero, and then he hit me for nine ninety nine? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I remember this guy. But yeah, actually, I didn't notice uh, the first time I had played through that um, when it was the dude was when we were in the room with all the statues. He was basically saying that like Odio is like the embodiment of just hatred in general, and it exists through all the ages. So we've actually been we've actually been fighting Odio in each of these scenarios, just a different form of him. Like, is he is it is it a sentient thing? Like, I don't understand like what exactly it is, but. Is it like the embodiment of hatred or whatever, and then it sometimes inhabits a person? I don't know. But then also, I don't see how, um, this, this is just a computer, so I'm not sure, um, what the dealio is with this. Maybe it's supposed to represent that, like, the computer turned evil after, uh, our party members started hating each other a little bit. Didn't they get, didn't they, um, didn't they make up, though? They had the little argument scuffle thing or whatever. I, th I thought they made up. I don't know. Yeah, by the way, uh, yeah, I got cube up to 999. I was grinding, uh, for power parts, and, um, yeah, it didn't take very long. I was actually grinding for the other dudes, but then every time I ran into the pistachio dudes, I went ahead and just killed them since I was there. And was able to kill them really quickly, since Pogo could kill them in one hit most of the time. And then the other, uh, and then everybody else had a move that could hurt them, that could two-shot them. Uh, even, even Cube's, uh, spin drive move, uh, worked, even though it wasn't, uh, even though it's not a strong move in general, it, it was able to damage him. Oh, excuse me. Alright. Alright, anything else here? Jeez. Oh, yeah, so... So I guess I probably over-grinded for, uh, for these guys, for Sundown and... Sorrow. Actually, maybe just having him equipped would have been enough, but I didn't want to fuck around and do the do the whole fucking fight again, again. So I was like, we're get, I was like, we're getting good experience. It didn't take that long. I didn't run into any of the the red uh, demon girls or whatever, uh, just because my levels weren't high enough. Uh, so I ran into weaker enemies, then eventually I started getting the green ninja dudes, and then they were given like 40 a shot, so I just ran from all the other fights and just did that a couple of times. It was it was pretty easy. Wh why can't I win? Oh, because love conquers all. Um, We're going to Care Bear stare him now, right? Isn't this my destiny? I used to have a, um, I used to have a wish bear uh, when I was a kid, like really little, like three or four. 
And, um, and yeah, uh, I'd want to guess what I named him. Uh, I named him Fred, which, no idea why. What is the difference between you and I? Uh, we're strong and you're a little bitch. Um, so, yeah, there's my Care Bear story. Uh, I don't think I ever watched the cartoon. Actually, um, why, by a soulless machine. You see, it doesn't matter that it's a machine. Maybe I'm thinking too much. You're thinking a lot, considering you're about to probably die, right? When I die... Why is the word die in uh, in the normal uh, font or whatever? You see how different it is? Oh, wait, so is the word... Oh, maybe he's, like, sort of going in and out of the, um, of the demon mode or whatever you want to call it. Because the word be able in return... Okay, yeah, it's going back and forth. Okay, got it. Uh, you'll all be able to return to your worlds. Yay. But don't forget, anyone can become a king of demons. Yeah, if, if your bitch ass can become the king of demons, anybody can, right? As long as hatred still exists. That looks like an H... That looks like HS. Nah, not an A. Uh, in any world, at any time. Okay, cool story, brah. Are you finally dead? Okay. So why did his body die just because we killed the demon? I, I don't know. Sometimes it's like you kill the evil thing and then the regular person is still alive, but I guess not not in this case. Anyone can become a king of demons. Yes, we know. As long as hatred's... Okay, you already said that. Is it supposed to be like the... um, Like his words just like ringing in our heads or some shit? I'm happy enough. At least I have a place to go home to. Oh, it's like cr the end of Chrono Trigger when uh, when everybody's got to go back to their home, uh, back to their own time. That was so sad. I will preserve Master's teachings. Yay! And uh, yeah, actually, I was. I mean, I wasn't like I didn't like ball or anything. But when when it, when they were like, oh, we all got to go back now, and I was like, aw. Uh, I have faith. The dawn will always break through the dark of night. Uh, yeah, that's how the day-night cycle works, buddy. He's oh, just gonna say love again. Why, why did he say love over and over again? I don't understand why... Why is that the... Actually, that's the only word he used, I think, right? Because that, that was the whole... That whole scenario was just done in, like, pictures. That was kind of neat. Continue my quest to be the strongest. Uh, and so, life goes on. Yes, that's how life works, dude. Okay, so we all escaped the demon realm or whatever. I'm surprised the place just didn't start, like, shaking and collapsing when, uh, dude died. And we got color again, yay. Okay, so is this the real world now again? Oh. Is it was it, is it supposed to represent like, um, like each section? It was it was kind of like a weird dull color. Maybe that was supposed to like represent maybe like the dimension just like pulled chunks of the real world out into it. And now they're now it's going back. I don't know. I guess that wouldn't explain why all the people were gone. Because if we were in another dimension, why would it, um, why would the, if it's in another dimension, how could it just return to normal? Wouldn't that be, because the normal is in the other dimension, which is the normal one. Anybody following this? <laughs> I don't know. Well, Pogo's got to check to make sure it's not half monkey, right? Make sure that, uh... Oh man, did he impregnate all of them? Oh my gosh. What a hoe. 
Look at all them baby mamas, man. You're gonna have your hands full of baby mamas being all jealous every time you spend time with, uh, like, the other baby mamas and shit. Oh man, look at them big old giant fists. Jeez, it's like, uh, it's like Kung Fu Heroes. Or, uh, little... Actually, I put... I didn't know that those two guys were from another game, Little Ninja Brothers or something like that. I went ahead and put that on my uh, wish list uh, today. Uh, I'm actually charging the gamepad right now. Jeez, fucking stupid. I went to play Mario Maker uh, for one-off because I finished Mega Man. And uh, as of right now, I'm doing a Mario Maker in between games. So I was going to do that one. And it's like, you have to use the gamepad to start up Mario Maker. It's like... I can't just go and just play levels with just the controller. It's fucking stupid. So then I was I was like, and I hadn't played it in forever, so like if you don't charge the gamepad, I, I looked online, it said that after about ten days, it just like it's it's start it like slowly loses its charge. And if you don't use it in like ten days, it's just it'll just be dead. Uh, which is weird because I'm also using uh the wireless uh whatchamacallit, pro controller or whatever. And that bitch is um I charged it once when I got it, and it's still all like all the way. It's still got four uh, bars or whatever. It still has the max number of little jammies that indicate the charge level. So I'm like, why does that drain, but then not the controller? I don't know. There's probably some reason I'm just not aware of. So then I was like, well, fuck it. I might as well uh, buy a game or two from the eShop. Well, since I got the Wii U turned on. But then I fucking went to the shop and went to put money on, uh, I went to enter uh, a debit card or whatever to add funds. And you need the gamepad to fucking do that too. And I'm just like, look, why can't I just move the arrow with the fucking analog stick to input the fucking numbers? Like, they have it where you have to, like, they're really fucking shoving that tablet, or the, what do you call it, gamepad, like, down your throat. Like, you have to fucking use it. It's like, dude, come on. Oh. But yeah, it wants you to just, like, the numbers appear on the screen, and then you just tap the numbers with the stylus. It's like, okay. So it's like, wow, you physically can't, uh... You can't, Im you can't input credit card information with the fucking thing. I'm like, alright. So it's like, yes, I'll play Little at first. Which is fine, but then, uh... But then I, my computer started doing this thing. Ever since I got this new microphone, I don't know what's causing it, but the the sound doesn't work. But then when I restart the computer, it goes ba-ding. Like when you turn off the computer, then that sound works. And then you know, then you know, then then it restarts, then it works, and then like the next day I'll turn it on, and the sound won't work again. So I went into like the the control panel and settings and stuff. And you, there's, like, a little thing you can tap to, like, test the speakers or whatever, just to, like, click and it'll make a ding noise or whatever. And it's like, that shit fucking works. But then YouTube, you know, I even went to YouTube to just check a video and fucking YouTube doesn't work. Now, the sound on that wasn't working and sound on the game wasn't working. And then I restart the computer, but ding I'm like, oh, so it works, like, why doesn't the shit, like, I don't know. It's frustrating when, um when you go to the control panel and you like check something and it says it's working and it's like well then fucking act like it you know then why isn't the shit that I need to play a fucking game why isn't that shit working I don't know oh is it supposed to be cube do we get him uh his thing walking into the distance um because we selected him as the for the final uh thing or whatever why is cube by himself in this dungeon fighting that guy uh, we're gonna get the uh, it, uh, this art that art style kind of reminds me of. Um, well, I don't think we ever saw this guy from the back. Oh wait, is this just a regular dude? Who the fuck is that? I don't remember seeing that guy. Uh, it reminds me of uh, Yoshi's Island, the like the sort of like it's sort of. I mean, I don't know how to describe it, but that art style looks reminds me of uh, Yoshi's Island during the cutscenes. But, uh, fucking, and then it, it, keep, it kept happening, like, every time I turn, every time I turn the computer on, it, it, um, I think most of the time it just doesn't work until I reset it, I don't know why. But then today I was like, I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm tired of it, let me troubleshoot it. So I went to YouTube to, uh, figure out why, um, 
how to like troubleshoot when the sound is is off or not working because I don't know whenever I read a thing like I'd rather watch a YouTube video to learn how to do something than just read like text that'll just give you like written instructions and uh, so I started listening to this guy talk and I'm like wait a second I'm on a YouTube video listening how to make the sound work like for some fucking reason the sound worked on that YouTube video I had checked a different YouTube video and uh, and that sound didn't work but then this one did, and then once it started working, then the game started sound started working on this or whatever. So it's like I don't fucking know. I, I I got nothing. I don't know. I thought we all went back to our original time. So why are we all uh, here in the same place again? Hmm. I don't know. So is Orsted actually dead? That kind of sucks. He was a cool guy. I liked him a lot. It sucks that we didn't get to use him in the last uh, scenario. It would have been nice to use get uh, got to use him more, or if we had gotten to get gotten to use him more. Fuck. And no Orsted. Aw. Huh. It's actually cool. We get different sprites. That sun definitely looks like a, um, is that from, is it just like a Japanese thing to just have a swirly be the sun? I'm not sure. And we got Sundown, who, I don't know why he painted his horse's mane, uh, purple. And we got, got Mike TV here. Look, I'm on TV! Uh, what was the, why, what was, the, was that a window, or why was he on that monitor? I don't know. Okay, yes, we know, it's easy, it's easy to throw punches and shit when there's nobody, like, punching you back. That's one of the things that, um, like, when you watch videos that, like, here's how you beat the shit out of someone, and it's like doing a tutorial. Like, you gotta remember that the other person's gonna not just gonna be standing there letting you do all that shit. <laughs> so when you're talking about, like, form and technique, and it's like, oh, then you grab here, then you twist here, and then you do this, it's like, yeah, but the person is gonna be flailing, uh, uh, you, you know, at worst case scenario, they're gonna be violently flailing at you, and best case scenario, they're gonna be attempting to, like, punch you in the fucking face and try to knock you, knock you the fuck out, you know? So to do, all, like, to maintain your composure and then try to be, like, um... It's kind of like when you're, uh, it's kind of like when you're playing someone who's like a button masher, and then you know all the combos, but like it's in like a, it's in like a magazine or in the book or something. Then you keep pausing. You're like, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me look at the look, look at this move. You know, so when the other person just coming at you, you're not gonna be able to just be like, hold, hold, hold on. You, wait, you put your put your arm here so I can, uh, so I can do an arm lock on you or whatever. You know, like they're not, it's not gonna fucking work. Anyway, yeah, I'm, I don't know why, like, what time period are we in where we're all in the same time period? Like, it, it showed us all going back to our own time, so I'm not sure why we're all here. And now we're here? Like, where are we going? <laughs> And Rip Orsted. Huh. Wow. That's kind of creepy looking, actually. <laughs> yeah. Damn, dude. So do we get his uh, finish thing just because we selected him at the uh, at the end of the thing? I don't. I, I mean. Okay, are we stuck now? We are not stuck. Where shop? Uh, yes. Let's see, if you don't know how to read, you're gonna have a hard time with this game. Um, okay, I guess we're done. Alright, so as of right now, uh, this is my longest, um, uh, LP. This is clocking in at, what, 61 episodes? So it's the longest episode, or longest LP by 9 episodes. I'm sure that, whoop, shit. 
I'm sure there will be ones uh, that are longer. Uh, I've got games that are way longer than this. Uh, I'm, I might start doing... I might have to... I might... I'm thinking about maybe doing, like, longer videos just because they're going to be so fucking long. But, uh, yeah, just a little... Um, like I said, right now it's the longest. I know it probably won't be forever, but, uh, but yeah, it was just something I thought of. Okay, but, uh, yeah, overall, I did enjoy this game. Um, I don't think I loved it as much as maybe I was supposed to, you know? I mean, that's part of LPing. Like, I just watched a guy play, um, Mega Man Legends 2, and I remember loving the shit out of that game, but then when I watched him play it, I was like, huh, uh, if I would have played it again, I don't think... I would have enjoyed it as much, but no, uh, I did like this game a lot. Uh, I didn't, I don't, I didn't play it like in my childhood, so it's not nostalgic or anything. And um, I did like, I did like the variety. The variety was nice. The uh, the scenarios were nice. It was, it kind of felt like um, Final Fantasy IV: The After Years, where you just you go between all the characters. Um, but the the downside of that though is that you don't really get to become heavily invested in the characters because right when you start to get invested uh then you just switch uh and then it's like okay well goodbye to that and hello to this now and then you get it you get invested in them and it's like okay you're done with this and now on to the this other character you know and um which you know i do i do like games that are different and so this game is definitely different so i mean um so that's something i liked about it is that it's not just the same as every other game uh, and in terms of, I do kind of wish that there was, like, shops and, like, you know, and, and just, like, money collecting and stuff. And, um, but, uh, I guess, mm, I'm trying to think. I'm just trying to go over stuff that's, like, coming to me as I'm thinking of it. I think that, um... That the, the difficulty was, I mean, I got my ass kicked a lot by this game. It seems like that sometimes the difficulty would just be like, you just get your ass kicked until you learn this new move. And then when, and then you just spam that new move and then you just win easily, you know. Or, uh, I mean, there wasn't, I feel like there wasn't really a whole lot of technique uh, or like strategy involved until the final area or whatever when you actually had four people. Uh, when you got one or just one or two people, uh you know, it, it just limits what you can do, uh, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I mean, in Earthbound, you play as just your one dude for for the first, well, I guess it depends on how long it takes you to to, to do it, but you play the first uh, bit with just your one dude, which is fine. It just makes you appreciate it when you got a full party uh, all the more, right? And um, uh, during the scenarios, I feel like uh, having shops to just improve your shit more would have been would have been nice. Um, in the last, towards the end of the game, where we started in the final dungeon, we definitely started finding a bunch of shit that, um, like, we had loads of gear by the end of the game. But uh, I just feel like while we were uh, playing through it, you'd maybe get like you'd start off with something, and then you maybe get like one better thing for each category or whatever. Um, and also. On the one hand, it is it it does the fighting was kind of streamlined since you um since you get uh, you get full life uh, at the end of each fight. But then the downside of that is that you just have to you don't have to worry about like healing. So if you're in a dungeon, you don't have to worry about do I have enough potions to get through this? Do I have enough uh, you know MP restoring items to get to to last? You know, there's no there's no suspense building as you start to you know, as you start to run out of nukes or heals or whatever. Uh, and also, yeah, there's no, um, you could just use any move you want. So without any penalty, like some games have it where you lose HP when you use it, like a uh, Paladin's Quest. And then, you know, most games have it where you have some kind of MP, but there's no MP. So there's no reason to not just spam your strongest shit all the time. Uh, they did uh, offset it with um, with either a delay or... Uh, in Pogo's case, uh, like deb like debuffing yourself, and I think Masaru maybe had a move where uh, it's like it's so strong it debuffs himself. I think it could be someone else. I but I think I'm pretty sure there there are excuse me some moves that um, debuff you as kind of like a penalty for using it. But uh, you know I sort of would have rather preferred to have there be some kind of MP system, or if it's a physical technique, have it be HP. You know I I've played games where. 
if it if you use like a physical attack like if you're like like a warrior you know his his attacks will use uh hp instead of mp i don't i can't think of a game i'm pretty sure that there's games where it does that but then like the mages will use their mp to do attacks or to do magic attacks you know so i mean there was a, there was a lot of things i liked about it there were some things that i didn't like about it um I, I mean, in all in all honesty, I'm probably not gonna play this game again. Uh, but I mean, I did I did enjoy it. But uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I got I got stuck, I got frustrated sometimes. But that you know that just comes with the territory. Uh, I did have to look up some stuff. I'm pretty sure I didn't look up anything until the final area. But the good news is that there wasn't anything that I looked up that I felt like dumb that I had to look up, or um. You know, like, sometimes if you get stuck in a puzzle, you'll look up the answer and you're like, oh, kicking yourself because it was so obvious. I don't think there was any of that or any of that kind of thing, even when I was looking up shit. Um, I think that's, um, I'm trying to think. I think I hit everything that I wanted to say about this game. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. I mean, like, like I said, I, I did enjoy it, but... But I mean, in all honesty, I didn't, I didn't love, love it. But, um, but I mean, I, I can't force how I feel about it, and I'm not gonna lie and say I love the shit out of it. But no, it was, it was, it was good, and uh, and uh, yeah, and I'm glad I played it. Even, even if I would have hated it, I'm still glad I play it. Every game that I play, I'm glad I played it. Even if I end up not liking it a whole lot. Actually, Imperium, I think, is the one game that I'm the least glad I played. We'll word it like that <laughs> as of right now. I don't know. But uh, we will see you in the next game. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, smash the like button, bang the bell, uh, shag the share button, and have sex with the subscribe button. And we will see you guys in the next game. And you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.